Oh, that one was close. All right, hey, ladies and gentlemen, Tyler here from TarverAcademy.com. Check it out if you get a minute. Pause it, check it, I'll wait. I'd also like to thank LearningBird.com for sponsoring this video. Ladies and gentlemen, that's enough talk. Let's get our learn on. Ah, that didn't feel good. <laughs> totally worth it. Okay, so we're looking at cones today. What are some famous cones? I know your favorite, it's an ice cream cone. That's exactly right. Think of the cone portion, not the, the, the sphere on top, which is the ice cream. I prefer orange sherbet. Um, holla at your boy. The cone is the part that's got the circle and then it call, comes to a point and you can like hold it in here. And then it melts and you're like, yeah, it's breaking. And then you start chewing on it. It tastes delicious if it's graham cracker. That's a cone, okay? So uh, another popular cone would be like a cone head. Like, you know, you wear like a, like a party hat at a birthday party. That thing that goes in your head, that's a cone. Um, dogs almost wear a cone whenever they're like chewing on their legs and stuff and they wear that big thing out here. If it came to a point instead of like going around a dog's head, that would be another great example of a cone. All right, so what we're doing is we're looking at some just nice clean properties of cones, okay? First off, here's my best representation of, of a cone in a drawing, okay? I try to make it look three dimensional so I put the little dashes. You've got a circular base and then you want it to come up to a point which is your vertex, okay? It's also called your apex, okay? So vertex, apex, whatever, that's the top point. Like think of a mountain. If a mountain was perfectly circular and it came up to a point, you talk about the apex of a mountain, that would be a cone, okay? Now, other important terms within a cone. Height goes from the apex or the vertex down to the base. That's the height. Radius, that's just, I mean, it's a circle. So the radius is what it is. And then your base is that circle down there. It's all that stuff, okay? That's your base. That's the base portion of it, okay? Now, other things, it is a three-dimensional object, so you can hold it. It's not a flat thing that you're looking at. You know, it looks flat here because it's written on a two-dimensional surface, but it is not flat, okay? It is a 3D shape. Um, has a circular base. We already discussed that. It's old news. One vertex apex, it comes to one point, as opposed to like a pyramid who has flat sides and comes up to a point. This, it just kind of is like a cylinder that was like whoosh, tightened up and then broke off the top, okay? Um, since it is not flat sides and angles, it is not polyhedral, okay? That means it is not like a prism or a pyramid. It's like a sphere where it's um, a sphere or a um, cylinder where it's, it's just kind of doing its own thing. It's got curved sides, so we can't say it's a polyhedron. All right, that's pretty much the gist of a cone. I mean, I could talk about it for hours. You don't hear me go on about that. Um, but as far as just the general properties of it, that's it. All right, so please check out learningbird.com because they sponsored this getting made. So it wouldn't be made if they didn't sponsor it. So thank you, learningbird.com. And then also check out tarveracademy.com where I've got like hundreds, if not thousands of math, um, technology, educational videos. So. It's quite a partnership, ladies and gentlemen. You know it's even partnership -er than that? Boom! I caught it. I'm hiding it behind my wrist. <laughs> I lied, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was a velociraptor. Hey, Tyler here. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out tarveracademy.com.